Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4, El Dorado as Uber Russia. We, uh, the vodka was not strong enough. We lost the fight. We got stack wiped and the AI cheats. There's a whole thing going on right now with the Twitter. I'm trying to, trying to call out the project lead developer who is on this because it's very clear damning evidence. Look, they suffer 1.8% attrition with all, like the whole purpose of Uber Russia is that we cause them to suffer stupid amounts of attrition, right? And they're not suffering stupid amounts of attrition. If I go tag Oirat, all of a sudden I'm suffering 3.7. Suffering exactly double. Exact same everything. Except that because I'm the player, I suffer twice as much as the AI. That's... that's BS. Not cool at all, man. Tag... Uh, D00. Get back to our country. So yeah, um, that is that. And, uh... It's not cool at all, man. I'm not happy about that. But, what we're gonna do is we're gonna... we're just gonna keep playing anyway. We'll try to bear with it. We're gonna hire all the mercenaries, because we've got money. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully we can reverse this on them, even though they're cheating. And base, <laughs> somebody's saying in Twitter, in, uh, Twitch chat, everything you wanted to do in the new expansion doesn't work. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Um, and it also, I mean, it doesn't help that they've got a five maneuver leader. But at the same time, it would also help if they actually suffered the amount of attrition they're supposed to. You know. Like, if they didn't cheat, that'd be cool. I could totally go for that. AI. Shouldn't cheat. <laughs> I'm channeling General Winter. That's a good way to put it. I'm trying to. We're suffering a lot of attrition on our own here. See, I suffer like 7% and, and whatever. They don't. See, the way that this should be working... They should be suffering 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1. Like, they should be suffering, like, stupid amounts of attrition right now. Even if... E even if they're not over the supply limit. Because that's, like, base attrition. That or the tooltip just needs to be made more clear. I mean, that's not the way that um, defensive attrition works. Defensive's, like, all the time. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I just don't understand it. That could be- that could be the case. Wouldn't be too surprised if I'm just making a mistake, but at the same time, I know for sure that they are suffering less than they should. I mean, how can you have 2 plus 1? Probably take local defensiveness till the end of the game. Ooh, military engineer. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'll take him. He's worthwhile. Getting some military points couldn't hurt. Gonna break his siege and come at us. He'll be there in like three weeks though. Which probably won't be fast enough. And now in our own territory, look at this. Now we're suffering 10%. Of course, we're way over the supply limit compared to them. Oh, it's gonna be painful. Do you ever feel like you like understand a mechanic and then and then something happens and like flips your world upside down? That's kind of how I feel right now. It just doesn't make sense. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is not 2, it's 4. Maximum of 6, that's fine. But 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. It's not 2. Get some paradox math. Paradox math happening right, happening right now. So maybe, I mean, the one thing I'm pretty sure about is I, I definitely overvalued the Attrition for Enemies modifier. But when you take defensive ideas, and you get this Attrition for Enemies plus one, it it feels like you suffer 1% all the time. So... And then again here. You know what it is? No, the math works out. 3, multiply it by the AI bonus of half off, gets to 1.5. Maybe that's just what's happening. Instead of suffering 3 like you should, you're suffering 0.5 because you're cheating bastard. Is there something, like, because they're a horde? Is it the horde suffering half? You know what, I should probably go look that up. Somebody check that out. 
Do hordes just suffer half attrition? I don't think they do. They have more manpower. They have more force limits. They have reduced um, better relations over time. It's not their religion, right? They're a nomad group. They're Buddhist. People in Twitch chat are saying horde bonuses would apply to me if I switched over, so that can't be it. No, they're just... Now here, 2 plus 1 equals 2.5. What is going on with these attrition calculations? Check that out. We are, our unit weight is 5.8. Supply limit 5.7. We're 0.1 over and we're suffering 1.5, 1.7% attrition. How does that, where, where does this number come from? What the hell? Like it's nuts. It's just absolutely nuts. There's, I just, I don't understand that at all. Are you serious? I mean. Explain this thing. Okay. I would love to see the math. On how being 0.1 over the force limit gives me more attrition than like this guy who's like nearly five over the force limit. It's just that's just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh well. I give up on trying to understand it. I think we're going to abandon this campaign even. Uh, we'll just make it like a two or three episode thing. I don't want to play this. If, if, if the attrition values don't make any sense to me and I can't understand it, then then whatever. We're just not going to do it. We'll play Trading McTrade. We'll play we'll play a campaign that actually has numbers that, ma that make sense. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, here. I've, I've already conceded in my mind. I'm just rambling and ranting and stuff. This this We're not going to do this campaign. So let's go look at it and see if we can at least figure out what some of the stuff is. We'll at least save it in case we decide to come back to it. After somebody explains it to me, but um, like the only setting that I changed from normal settings was the you'll see it here in a moment. We were doing the custom nation setup, went in, I did options, AI difficulty hard, but here it just determines the behavior of the AI. They play at full skill and react more harshly to player aggression and vulnerability. So they'll do things like they will join coalitions very quickly, they will attack you if you're weak, they will. You know, th that's it. There's no lucky nations, there's no bonuses. There was no bonuses anywhere that could possibly explain that stupid amount of attrition reduction that they were getting. So, anyway. Yeah, whatever. Let's go back to playing Trading McTrade. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Um, if anyone can explain attrition mechanics to me in a way that makes sense, in the comments down below with the math and all that, like, math, it's like, you know, give me like a thesis or something on these... Explain how being 0.1 over the supply limit causes 1.7% attrition for me, but the AI can be like in a province that has harsh, they had severe winter, 2% attrition for enemies for me, they had the siege effects, I know they had a good general, but they're suffering like nothing. It makes no sense. Anyway, alright, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you again in the next video, see you soon.